Is old man winter sneaking up on you? And maybe you're looking for a new poultry water heater? Well then this is the video for you. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eric with Stromberg's Chicks and Game Birds. And today what we're gonna be discussing are poultry heaters to keep your poultry waters from freezing up during wintertime use. Uh, chicken can consume about one to two cups of water per day. Uh, this need does not diminish in the wintertime, so we got to make sure that we're providing our birds with that fresh water daily. And how are we going to do that in the wintertime? Well, Stromberg's is located here in Minnesota, which can get, you know, 20 to 30 below in the wintertime. So I can personally tell you, I've tested these things out and run them through the ringers, and I can give you some insight about freezing temps, because oofta, it gets cold up here in Minnesota. And so, let's dive into it. Um, right here we've got four different options and we're hoping by walking through these four different options you guys can pick the right option for your coop. Uh, so let's jump right in and we're going to jump in kind of talking about these two options right here. Uh, you're going to see that these two they're pretty similar and what I'm talking about here when I'm talking about water bases are going to be these two pieces that are underneath the actual fount itself. So the water bases here, um, you'll see that they're very similar. This one is called the electric heater base. This one's called the automatic electric base. So very similar names even. The main difference here is going to be that this unit is only approved for metal waterers and there is a savings on this one. Uh, it is a little bit more economical on, than this one, but this one is approved for both plastic and metal founts. So you can use this one with either the plastic or the metal founts. So that's the main difference with these two. So we have both of these on our website and you can find the, the links in the article below and both very good units. Um, then we're gonna discuss this unit next and now this unit is called the heated poultry fount and this is an all-inclusive unit which means it's basically the fount has everything that you need right in it it's not like a separate heater base where the fount sits on top the 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 heater is actually uh, integrated into the base you can see that there's a cord that feeds into this and um, then what happens is it, it's thermostatically controlled and it'll turn it off and on and it'll keep that water clear. And that water is going to be, you know, right in here for those birds to drink. And the nice part about this one is that it's, you know, even though you've got this base that is, has the heater in it, you can swap that out for a summertime base to avoid wear and tear on your winter base. And the nice thing about this, you can see that there's no cords or anything like that, but then it just turns into a normal poultry fountain. You can just fill it and use it in the summertime. Now, the one thing that I'm gonna bring out about up about these three options that I really like, so these three, is that they are thermostatically controlled. So that means that there's a thermostat built right into them. And normally these are going to turn on at about 35 degrees. So right below it before it gets to be freezing. And some of them might be even a little bit before or a little bit closer to freezing than that. But then they'll have a certain set off, turn off point, which will be higher. So when the, the, the temperature gets a little bit higher than that, usually like 38 degrees, these will be turning off. So that what does that mean for you is that you'd be saving money on your you know, your energy bill, especially if you're having those, you know, in Minnesota here, we have them in fall and spring, but you might be in an area that has large temperature spring swings where the temperature gets below freezing at night, and then you'll have to deal with frozen water in the morning, and then it gets warm during the day, and then that's when you want this heater bases to turn off. Now, this last unit here, is a unit that is always on and it's a very for small founts you'll see that i've only got a two gallon metal fount here and i would only recommend using this with you know maybe the most that i would use it is with a three gallon fount but i would always recommend metal founts and the reason being is it uses a light bulb to heat the water to above freezing temps so in that case i would always recommend just using a metal fount now here I have a 100 watt light bulb in here, but you can use different wattages and just play with this, try different light bulbs to see which one works best for you. Now, once this is plugged in, it's always on. There's no thermostat with this one. 
However, we do have one tool that you can find a multitude of uses for around the farm and especially would work well here. So just as these are all thermostatically controlled, you can turn this or any outlet into a thermostatically controlled outlet. Now this piece it will turn on at 35 and off at 37. It's a very precise unit. It has a light right here, so you'll always know, hey, that thermostat is kicked on. Now you can use this for heat tape or obviously for this metal fount, we recommend just you know buying a, a small outlet, thermostatically controlled outlet, which is here. But you can use it for many different uses around the farm. You can use it, you know, maybe you've got an area that you never want to get below freezing. You plug in a light to this, hey, gets down to freezing, light turns on, you know that you've got to go out there. So this is a very nice unit to have around the farm. Now, one other thing that I'd like to discuss now that we've discussed our different options here is safety around water and electricity around the farm. So there's two things that I'd like to discuss here. The first one being, uh, we've got this unit and this is, comes in handy. Um, what it is, is it protects your outlet when you're plugging this into an extension cord. So a lot of us might not have power out at our um, chicken coops. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna run an extension cord and we're gonna plug in our heater, right? Well, what this comes with, with is it comes with this little rubber gasket and you put it around the, the plug, you put it on the actual plug, plug this in, this rubber gasket keeps any water from entering the seam here. Then you just put these two pieces around here. First piece goes on that side. Second piece goes on this side. Plug them in. You can hear it ratcheting together and that holds your plugs from coming apart. So it gives you peace of mind that it's always gonna stay plugged in. It's gonna give you peace of mind that not the water's gonna get in there. So this is a really nice piece to have if you're plugging things around water on the farm where you don't want water seeping into between the two outlets. So that's one piece of safety equipment that you're gonna want around the farm, around this electricity and water. And the last piece of equipment that I would suggest getting is if you're gonna be plugging these in, in your coop or you know anywhere around the farm, you're going to want the GFCI outlets. And those are going to be the ground fault circuit interrupter outlets. Now those you are familiar with because you'll see them around your kitchen or in your bathroom, or a lot of times you'll also see them just in your um, outdoor outlets. Those are nice. What they do is they detect abnormalities in the current flow. So if the, now I'm no electrician, but from what I understand, if the current, instead of going into your poultry fount, starts going into you, it detects that there's an abnormality in the current between it, what's going out and what's coming back. It breaks that circuit, turns it off, fraction of a time that what a normal circuit would because it's sensing those abnormalities in the lines, meaning that you won't be getting shocked and it's much safer around the coop. So you might wanna have your electrician install what they're gonna be called as GFCI outlets around your coop or just in your outdoor outlets, just make sure you have those one safety feature so that you can enjoy your birds and stay safe during the winter time. So I hope you found this video very informative and from all of us here at Stromberg's, enjoy those birds even in the winter time. Thank you for watching.